Good morning. Okay, I'm gonna do a really quick get ready with me. I already have a clean face. I'm getting ready to go to the soccer field with my kids and um, my hair is just air drying, um, but I just wanna look a little less um, dead. So I am going to use some Make Sense Foundation in Dewy. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my hand here. This is a wonderful coverage. I um, feel like I don't have the greatest skin. Um, I have some like redness around my nose. I have some, I didn't wear sunscreen in my 20s around here. So I need, I feel like I need a good full coverage foundation and this one is a great one and I'm just gonna boop boop just rub it in with this beauty blender really quick if this was a real um, get ready with me I would probably be eating cereal nursing a baby and yelling at my big kids but the baby is watching from the bed and the big kids are watching a show and then we are getting out of here and I already scarfed down my cereal um, oh I have a little left on my hand so I'm gonna just rub it in up here all right um, let's see next I'm going to use candlelight shadow sense this is our um, cream to powder oh. eyeshadow Thomas really likes it yeah and I'm gonna use this to cover up these I was up all night with a baby dark circles so I'm just gonna do that it dries very quickly and sets so you want to kind of move it very quickly and just rub it in and that will really help cover up a lot of tiredness um, and brighten up your eyes my eyes cuz I got three kids one of them is a baby yeah he's very cute though so then I'm just gonna boop 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 this is the same thing candlelight shadow sense and I'm gonna put it on my all over my eyelids to just give a nice base of color so this is just a really neutral um, won't look like I'm wearing any color at all, but it will um, kind of even out my skin tone and cover up any like veins and things like that that I have going on on my eyelids. Kind of even out um, all the way up to my eyebrow. And that'll set um, to a powder and it's wonderful. Next I'm gonna use Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. I'm gonna use this because I think it is, it, I don't think, it is this beautiful, kind of neutrally shimmery color. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in the middle of my eyelid because this is gonna just brighten everything up. Um, it is a great neutral. You can use it as a highlighter. Um, I am just gonna use it to bring a little brightness to my eyelids and to my face so there's that the next thing that's going to help me look more awake is toasted rose blush scents so when i got this in the mail the color terrified me i thought i had um, done a good job and then i got this and i was like this is going to look terrible it looks very gray um, it does have blue undertones which my skin has blue undertones and i am obsessed with this so don't let the color scare you. I'm gonna just put some right here, kind of in the apple of my cheek. And this is going to just brighten up and give some color um, to my face. So just brush that right in on both sides. And this also is a cream to powder, so it will set and not budge all day so it is wonderful 
so there's that. Then I have the Translucid Loose Powder. I um, just got this recently, and I'm just gonna shake it up and get some powder there in the lid. And I'm gonna put this all over my whole face, and this will help um, with setting the makeup that I just put on, and it'll, see how it just cleaned up that shine on my nose. There we go. Don't want it to shine before you even leave the house. You'll be out on the soccer field, t-ball field all morning. I just want a little. Okay, now I'm gonna use just a little mascara. I have naturally long, thick eyelashes. So I'm just gonna put a little coat. There we go, to just waken up my lashes a little and I'm gonna do the bottom ones too I am NOT even gonna wear eyeliner today I may put some on before I go to work tonight but I am NOT gonna wear any to the soccer field um, okay I'm gonna finish up with a lip color I am tempted to do just a gloss because um, it's just soccer and t-ball but then that will wear off really quickly so I'm gonna do um, pink champagne you can hear the dog trying to get in at the door so I'm gonna do a pink champagne this is a nice um, really neutral color pink it has blue undertones it's a cooler color and it is just a great pinky neutral. Um, it's also great for layering. If you have a darker color, you can put this one on top just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. Transform that color. So say if you had mold wine and pink champagne, you could wear mold wine for date night. You could wear pink champagne for the soccer fields and you could wear a coat of mulled wine and two coats of pink champagne or two coats of mulled wine and a coat of pink champagne to the office two colors so many looks so let me just finish this up and then I'm gonna top it with the Bougainvillea gloss. See how that just brings out the pink. And there we go. Done and done. That is, well I'm eight minutes in, but I think a lot of that was talking. So there we go, have a great day.